All right, welcome back. Hi. Nathan is pulling. <laughs> pulling <laughs> you haven't even started, man. You can't be huffy breath. I can be huffy breath all I want. I can't find that caliper. So we are pulling the fuel pump out of the Q45. All right, I just pulled the fuel pump. It's already out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just getting the lines right now. Really So easy. the pump's out of that. Yeah. Joseph is cleaning off the tank so that we can now open this, which has had gas in it for God knows know. how long. It's like a pump. Yeah. We have brand new rear suspension. So Nathan got everything for steel. All Megan arms in the rear. Everything's OEM in the front for now. And everything is good except for it's this side, right? Yep, that side. Cannot find the caliper bracket. Yep. So the caliper bracket's gone. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I I started laughing. My <laughs> when Austin said, "Is it in the woods?" Yeah, I know. Yeah, that was not. <laughs> Nathan has a thing for uh, throwing things into the woods when no, he gets frustrated I did it with them. I did it once. <laughs> so we need to find a caliper bracket for this, and he is cleaning that off so that we can probably put at least a little bit of coating back on it so that it doesn't rust and then put it in. Yeah. And after we switch the fuel pumps. I want to run the wiring to the back. Hopefully get the fuel pump wiring. I gotta pull the fuel pump wiring from that car so I can use it with the fuel so pump. So the ECU there. won't poop itself when the pump. Yeah, because yeah. it uses a three-speed fuel pump, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> We're gonna put that junk on high and leave it on high. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it in there unless I can't get it out. And then if I can't get it out, I'll just get a wall bro and just run it. It'll be fine. Brad. Probably makes it quiet. Your dad looks amazing right now. Did you know that? Always. Austin was asking about scorpions. Uh, Caught a scorpion in the wood pile, and then I just that it's a big old wolf spider. So I thought, <laughs> what? This one? Uh, there's a bucket. Yeah, that's a down bucket. Hey, and we got a toothbrush. Yep. Sweet. I feel like a NASCAR pit stop crew. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually gonna come out of that thing. Oh God. Oh, oh it looks like that's Mountain Dew, baby. <laughs> it looks like Mountain Dew. No, that's like it a is filming between Mountain Dew and Red Bull. Bro, oh, that's so we got good quality it gasoline. It looks like somebody just peed in a bucket. That's yeah. Red Bull, baby. Oh, that smells. <laughs> sounds like somebody with a real bad like like prostate problem. <laughs> yeah, that's that's good enough. That's good enough. Put it back up. Oh. oh. <laughs> that looks like a horse. So we're about to pull the fuel pump off. And... Try to see if I can buff it out. See, here's another one here. This That's not a factory fuel pump. Oh, cool. That's a big old fuel pump. That's good. And it's... Only a little bit rusty in there. It's actually yeah, it's not really bad. not not terrible. That's kind of what mine looked like after I finished it. So, cool. One less thing to do. Hey, my baffles are still in there. They didn't break <laughs> off and float around. <laughs> all right, so update. I uh, finagled all these parts together, and that was the old Q45 assembly. And this is the 240 assembly. So the Q45 one is at a 45. Ha 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 ha. And um, so I soldered these because uh, the connectors are a little different. So I soldered them on. Wrapped them in some white electrical tape because all raises matter. And now it's connected and ready to go back in. And we're not doing all the repinning and rewiring and stuff because the Q45 fuel pump is a three speed. Three speed. And so he's just going to run it on the top and it'll just give this baby a lot of juice and it's going to be great. Yeah, because that wiring harness is like snaked all throughout the interior of the 245 and I don't feel like pulling the entire interior for that. Speaking of wiring harness. Yeah, I'm stressing out over here. Giving myself, <laughs> giving myself anxiety here. And Austin finally showed up and showed up with a dead camera to a day of filming. That's just how smart this one is. And he's over here uh, taking off the brake caliper bracket. Because Nathan, Nathan threw, threw the other in the one woods. in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> He's not here to tell us that he didn't, so. Yeah, so pretty much we're going with he threw it in the woods. Yep, it's somewhere out there. All right, y'all, so I put the uh, the brake caliper on the rear back here. And um believe this is the one that was seized up from Daphne, the other car. One of one of his uh, emergency brakes didn't work. Or one of his, like, calipers, I guess, was seized up. So I think this is the one that was seized up because it's not... It's not working right, so I believe he's gonna have to get a new caliper right here. What you doing, Nathan? Putting the fan on. So I took a KA fan clutch and fan, and I'm putting it on this so I can actually clear the radiator. And then what else have we mounted up on there? You put coolant passages on, and then move the dipstick behind one because that way it won't hit the fan. 
clearances are real tight with this fan. Like, real tight. It's kind of sketchy. But it'll work. It's not sketchy. I don't know what you mean. I mean, look, that's that's plenty of room from everything, right? What did I just hit? <laughs> what I just hit, exactly. Clutch fan's in. It's tight. But it fits. It's a pretty tight fit between the uh, radiator and uh, yeah. miscellaneous stuff yeah. behind there, but it stock, fits. Stock 245 one was about here. Yeah. So. There's no way that would have fit. Yeah. Right, so what are we doing back here, Nathan? Not in the battery box. I'm trying to decide, because I could just do it like that. It hangs off the edge, but it's probably okay, right? I can even put the battery and like rock this over it. It slides around as it goes in. So we think we got a, 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 maybe a new spot where we might put it over there. I gotta think about it. Because I could put it there. So let's think about it. It kind of hits the cage a little bit. It doesn't, doesn't go well there at all. So just the battery on the front it could do it behind the driver, but I don't... It's also still on this hump here. I'm gonna move it. That uh, just does not sit nice. Done. I think this may be the move, honestly. What you think, Chick? Isn't that the spot I told you to put it in? No, it's not. Because you said that it was gonna, I was going to drift up on that. You said I should put it in the middle right there. Oh, that is a good point. You're gonna, if you do hit a wall, yeah, your battery's no, gonna look I like said, mine. Why don't you put it on this side? And you shot that down. Well, no, because you said why don't you put it here? And that's no, I didn't. Well. Yes, you did. You that's had the dumbest idea in the world. That's what you said. I had it right there because that's away from the fuel pump stuff. And we already did this whole thing about you trying to find a spot for this. Dang it! That's how he knows that he, I said it. It's because possible. It's possible. I just don't like that spot anymore. Cause I, cause I, it's just this, because of the fuel pump? Part? Well, mainly because this part is in that frame rail above the subframe. I don't think I have a drill bit long enough to do it. I don't have a drill bit long enough to do it. I don't know, it seems like it wants to fit there. Which thing? Think that's like good? Yeah, it's your car. I know. Stressful day. Why is it a stressful day, Nathan? Because of wiring and all this, and it's a bunch of irreversible changes. I can't undo all this. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could pull this wiring out pretty quickly. I'm pretty sure you could, but that's not what I mean. <laughs> that was such a cool shot. His arm just came about it. Go doink. I don't know. This is on a slant down here, though. Well, the car's lifted, so it's probably going to be that's a little bit slanted. That's not what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nathan, what do you need, bud? A new car. I like girlfriend. Girlfriend be cool. Hey, I'm pretty sure there's a... Uh, Cage shut. shell online that has the exact same cage layout as yours for five hundred dollars right now. Okay, shut up. It's already stitch welded too, and shut the chest, up. and it's painted white. Jake, shut up. I don't need to hear that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are you actually kidding, or is there actually one? No, there there actually is one, but but it's got a BH45 in it. You. I don't like this thing. Nathan is, uh, well, there's. He's found anxiety. Yeah, no, this is. This, this, is, is, this is not even. We're not even sure if this is. Haha, <laughs> psych, this is for the Q45. It's the wrong car. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great, Nathan. I, don't like it. I just want you to know most people that take on a project like this would have stopped before now, and if they didn't, they'd be stopping right now. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this either, man. This is a lot of hard work. <laughs> uh, you filming? Cool. Uh, figured out where we're putting the battery. I marked it with a center punch, so I got these little marks here and there. And I'm about to drill the holes. So both of those should go through the frame rail, should be nice and solid, and pass Formula D rules and all that stuff. Alright, now that I've scored this up pretty good. A pretty sharp angle there. So yeah, Nathan, you have to take it out so we can video it. So what do we do? Yeah. We put it in. 
Ho probably... Hopefully no wall taps right there, right? Yeah, really, because it's kind of kind of close on the corner there, but it's going to be real funny. There you go. It fits. Yeah. Nice. Pretty solid. I'll take it. Take you to the wall. Shut up. Uh, we're about to try and put the fuel tank in. That's it? That's You're it. just gonna try to put the... Okay. Picked up the gas tank. Gonna put it in. And um... Don't know what that is. We're about to find out. So something's inside the gas tank. Something's loose in the gas tank. That shouldn't be loose in the shouldn't gas tank. Shouldn't be loose tank. in the gas tank. This thing is... No, wait. I gotta do it this way. I mean, do you think that was just that thing r rambling around or no? I don't think so. Because it was over that way. Oh. What One is that? Baffles is broken loose. What One is that? Baffles is broken loose. One less thing to do. And my baffles are still in there. They didn't break off and float around. <laughs> yeah, that whole baffle is just flapping. I don't know if I want to pull it out or leave it in. It's like, is 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 a bad baffle worse than or better than no baffle? It's You're asking like the wrong person. That spot weld. I think I'm just gonna leave it, and it's gonna make noise, but it's fine. So what we do today, Nathan? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, not a lot. Fuel pump swapped in. Haven't put the fuel tank in yet because we realized one of the baffles is loose, which is on film, so you knew that. Cooling stuff in, clutch fan on, brake stuff in the rear done, except that one of the calipers is seized, so we're actually going to have to undo and redo some of that. Um, went through some of the wiring and uh, kind of figured out what I'd figured out more of what we need to do for the wiring. Um, it's going to be a big process. And then also put in the e brake. Because that was like one of the first things we did. Battery box. Oh yeah, I also put in the battery box, <laughs> which I completely forgot about. But yeah, not as not as productive as last time, or not as big progress, but still getting there. I have no idea how long it's going to take to get this thing done, but we'll get there. Content. Yeah, I'm excited to drive it. All right, really final final words. What? <laughs>